Minister, please take back this message to Mariba on behalf of the Springboks and the Amaboko Boko. And thank him profusely for his vision, for his humility, and for his leadership in embracing sport as a game changer in South Africa's very young democracy. The 1995 World Cup winning Springbok captain Francois Pinot was speaking at the Nelson Mandela Foundation in Hearts in Johannesburg, where ministers and members of the sporting fraternity delivered a pledge and messages of support for Mandela on Thursday. Early on Thursday, Sports Minister Fikile Mbalula launched the Nelson Mandela Sports Day at a breakfast in Santon. The day will include the Springboks playing against Argentina and Bafana Bafana against Burkina Faso at the FNB Stadium on August 17th. I think to be a part of an occasion where rugby and soccer and the culture of South Africa come together and celebrate the life of Madiba, celebrate everything he stood for, um, celebrate his inspiration to us as people and as a country is a, you know, is a, is a great moment, a, a privileged moment and a, and a humble, humbling moment for, for us as sportsmen, for us as Springbok rugby players you know, and for us as a nation and hopefully you know, on the 17th of August on the, the Nelson Mandela Sports and Culture Day um, you know, it will be a celebration of a man who is an icon not only in South Africa but globally as well. The proceeds from the day, which would include a concert after the Springboks match, would go towards the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. This year, when he announced it, many people were shocked. How does rugby and soccer under one roof, does it happen? It's not razzmatazz, it's a humdinger. It's something, it's something you have never seen before. Christy Jacobs for SAPA.